However, we go live as live can get here on the Quad Pod to our next guest. She joins us here on our big program, Access TV Humorous Countdown Music Show. And, of course, uh, Katie Darrell is with us here on our program. Katie, welcome to the broadcast. How are you, my friend? I'm doing great. I'm doing great. Thanks for having me. So how long have you been doing all this uh, TV stuff before we get into the show here? <laughs> oh, this TV stuff. I think I got, I got started in all this TV stuff uh, back in around 2000. Uh, I was working at MTV during their presidential election of 2000, um, to, you know, rocking the vote and doing the choose or lose campaign. And then I transitioned over to working for HDNet, which was the world's first high-definition music uh, television network owned by Mark Cuban. The network is now called Access TV, and I've done several programs for them over the years, but this latest and greatest is called The Top Ten Revealed, and it's every Sunday night on Access TV at 8 Eastern, 7 Central. Fantastic. We have got Katie Darrell with us today. She joins us live here on our big broadcast, and... Uh, just an, an amazing show. We're talking about uh, this incredible, incredible program. Um, it's a popular countdown list. It's, seri- it's called the Top Ten Revealed. It returns with 15 all-new episodes on Sunday, October 31st, 8 p.m. Eastern, 5 p.m. Pacific. Executive producer and host Katie Darrell joins us here on the telephone. So... Being an executive producer of a television show, what is all involved with that? <laughs> well, um, first and foremost, it means I created it. I That's the awesome. Adventure, <laughs> uh, and I oversee all parts of it, from you know helping to curate the list to booking the talent that comes onto the show, because we have different rock stars like Paul Stanley from Kids. Dee Snyder from Twisted Sister, Lita Ford, uh, Carney Wilson of Wilson Phillips, members of Foreigner and Poison. Uh, so I help curate and pick, you know, who are going to be the rock stars that get to comment on these lists. Uh, then I oversee the edits and make sure it gets delivered on time. That's awesome. That's fantastic. I I, I, I just... also host it, but that's just because I don't like to work with other talent. You know, <laughs> the in the butt. You know that's me. That's great. <laughs> that's great. We have got Katie Darrell with us today. She joins us live here on the telephone talking a little bit about uh, this incredible show on Access TV. Uh, So you have had 15 plus years of industry experience. Uh, You know, we we ran it down a little bit earlier, MTV, BH1, TMZ, all all these different places. Um, is, Is it a lot easier and a lot funner to work over at access tv because i get the impression i've interviewed many of the people that have shows on that channel i get the impression you guys are just allowed to do fun tv and you don't have some overseer or you know how how does this all work because you guys look like you're having a lot of fun yeah yeah yeah. you know access tv is a great place you know it's, it's really fun and i love that it um it appreciates music, let's be honest. The other networks that are quote-unquote music networks aren't really playing a whole lot of music. So I, I, I grew up, um, you know, starting my career in radio. And I love, I love rock and roll. I love classic rock. And just being able to flip on a channel and see a Fleetwood Mac, you know, concert or a Tom Petty concert or then see a, a show like The Top Ten Revealed, that gets me excited as a music lover. And so then getting to work there, I mean, listen, it's like, being a fat kid in a candy store, right? Who doesn't want that gig? That's awesome. We have got uh, Katie Darrell with us today. Now, with you putting uh, 15 episodes together, I'm always interested in the behind the scenes of, of this. Do you tape everything all at once? Do you do a massive deal, or is this sort of like they used to do in television where you tape a couple weeks in advance. How, how does this all work? Because you've got to yeah. not only get this taped, but you've got to oversee the editing and everything else before this thing gets on the air. Yeah, so the nuts and bolts, you know, first and foremost, is we have to figure out the list. So I come up with um, some other coworkers. We kind of curate, like, what are the lists? What are the topics? Not necessarily the songs, but what are the topics? So, like, this season we have top ten rain songs, top ten 80s movie soundtracks, um, top 10 
um, 90s breakup songs. So first we come up with a list. Then we put it out to our viewers and, and have them vote on the list. And that's how we curate what are the 10 songs on each list. Then from there, we book all the talent, like I said, you know, the Dee Snyder, the Sebastian Bach, uh, the Jeff Pilsen of Foreigners. And we have them come into the studio, and we do what I call Hell Week, where we are filming six days, five people a day, back-to-back -back interviews, talking about all 15 lists, 10 songs per list, so 150 songs over six days, right? By the end of the week, my head is just throbbing. I'm like, wah, wah, wah. I don't remember if we talked about this song. I also feel like I've talked about this song so much, like I can't get my head straight. Uh, and then from there, we start breaking it down, uh, editing each individual episode. So, you know, listen, we're right now we're editing an episode that's going to be airing in the beginning of December. But also at the beginning of December, we're going to be doing that Hell Week again, filming for our spring season. So it's a lot of a, a leapfrog game, I guess you would say. That's awesome. It is Katie Darrell. She's with us today. I've always, I've, I've always been interested in the in in that part of it because I, I I've worked in in TV and it is sometimes really fun and sometimes it's not so much fun. <laughs> so uh, tell us a little bit about some of these shows because you you mentioned you 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 you've got rain songs, you've got eighties movie soundtracks. T t tell us about some of the different songs. I noticed one on here is 90s rap throwbacks. Y you've got all sorts of different things. Oh, my gosh. I'm literally watching the preview edit for that one, like, today. I've watched it twice and trying to read my editor notes on there. Uh, yeah, you know, these are, like, when you take a list, like, top 10 90s rap throwbacks. You know, these are those songs that when you went into the club or hopped in your car, you couldn't get them out of your head. So think of, like, Hypnotized by Biggie. Biggie, 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 can't you see, right? That song yes. was everywhere in the 90s. You couldn't get away from it. How about Puffy and, like, All About the Benjamins? So those are some of the songs that made the list. Um, other lists that we have are top ten. Um, I think, actually, this coming up Sunday is top ten songs about time because, you know, we have to change our clocks this week, and I thought, you know, what a great way to pay homage to that. So, you know, what songs have time in it? Well, share if I could turn back time. Uh, Chicago, does anybody really know what time it is? Um, and yes, there, there might be back in time a uh, little Michael J. Fox nod for Back to the Future, Huey Lewis. Um, you know, so many great lists. We, uh, there's 15 episodes this season on Access TV every Sunday, 8 Eastern, 7 Central. We've already aired one, so you've got 14 more to catch. But if you want to catch old seasons, we do have the Access TV app where you can download that and stream old uh, episodes. You can go to Access TV, and that's just AXS.TV. That's awesome. It is Katie Darrell. She's with us today here on our broadcast. So do you have anybody helping you on the research for this, or do you uh, research all this crap yourself? Yes. <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh, good Lord. No. Um, you know, for the for the pilot, yeah, I did that one. But, no, now we have a huge team. We have one, two, three, four different people working as researchers. We have two people working as fact checkers. Um, yeah, it is a machine over here. It is a monster now. That's awesome. It is Katie Darrell. She's with us today here on a broadcast. And uh, she's she's got this incredible show. You guys have, have put together a lot of these great lists here. Uh when once once you get the list done, who do you who who goes out and tries to find the people to be on these shows? How, how do you you know how do you go like like for instance? Okay, we're 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 gonna do on December twelfth the rain songs. Who the hell do you go? You know we need to have this person on. Well, you know, that's what's great. Is so we basically, um, over the years, this is season four of the show. Um, and the first season, it was me opening up my Rolodex and calling favors to friends. Hey, Lita Ford's manager, can um, Lita Ford come into the studio and talk? And so it was me just doing Hail Mary passes and inviting people into the studio that I knew or had worked with in the past. Uh, now the show's gotten so big and successful that we, I, I still have some of my return guests, like a Lita Ford and what have you, but I also have a talent booker. And so I'll say to her, That's listen, awesome. like, I, we've got some Motley crew on this season. I need Nikki Six or I need Tommy Lee. Go, go, go get them. Um, and so I put out my wish list to the talent booker, and, and she tries to help us book things. 
Um, and then it comes down to, you know, like I said, that, that hell week where I eventually have 30 people coming in over six days. I then curate, okay, what's, what list would Dee Snyder be good on? And I look at the songs that are on the list, and I make sure that, you know, not only do I know that he would probably like talking about murder songs, which was our episode last week, but he probably wouldn't be that interested in 90s breakup songs, so I don't put him there. And then I know, like, oh, he does like Tom Jones and crooners, and so if I find that, so I kind of curate people's individual topics knowing kind of their likes and dislikes. That's awesome. Well, I guess before we let you go, how do people get in touch with you on social media, websites, all these things? Yeah, yeah, and you've got to because so many people will watch the show and then they you, and you will want to email or text or tweet me saying, oh, I loved it, or you forgot this song, or you messed up. You are going to leave with an opinion no matter what, and I want to hear it, right? So make sure you hit me up on all my socials. It, it's just my name, Katie Daryl, K-A-T-I-E, Daryl, D-A-R-Y-L. And you can get me on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. I'm pretty responsive, and I try, I try to play nice in the sandbox. So uh, I'd love to hear from you. Fantastic. Well, Katie, thanks for doing this, my friend. I really enjoyed the uh, conversation. Thanks for coming on and chatting with us, and I will talk to you soon. Have yourself a wonderful, wonderful day, my friend. All right. Stay safe out there. Thank you, my friend. There she goes. That is Katie Darrell. She joins us here on the Quad Pod this week. Thanks for joining us. We are going to take a uh, reset, I guess you would say. I don't know. I don't know what you'd say. We're going to do something. <laughs>